What is happening guys? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you guys my methods for taking photos in my car and how I edit them for Instagram. First things first, you guys, make sure that you have a decent bag to carry all your gear in. I have my drone in here, my filters, my lenses, and my drone controller, my GoPro, GoPro strap, and this is where the actual camera goes. Got some packets on the side for more batteries. And then up top, I keep all of my mounts and my tripod and my computer. It's a great bag. I'm gonna link it down below if you guys need it. Hold down the floor, bro, we'll be back. <laughs> Another beautiful day here in North Carolina. This is a video that a few of you guys have requested. So I figured I might as well go ahead and make it for you. Good morning. Looking good, looking good. It is definitely gonna be a nice one today. 50 degrees and it's only 8.45 in the morning. I'll take it. I just wanna preface this video and say that I am not a professional photographer. I just do this out of passion and hobby. I've been doing it for, I don't know, two years or so. And really I just take photos for content, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube, stuff like that. I don't consider myself a professional. I don't do paid gigs, I don't do any of that. I just really love cars and I enjoy the art form of photography. So I put the two and two together and I work on them so I can better my craft. I think it's also important to note that there is no right or wrong way to do this because this is in fact art. So however you wanna do it can be the right way. Don't let anyone tell you that you're doing it the wrong way because if you like the way it looks, then it's good. This is called art for a reason. Just enjoy the process and learn as you're going along and in time you will get better. Coffee acquired. Let's head to the spot where we're shooting today. just want to establish your own style when it comes to photography and video and content. Everyone kind of has their own mix of style. So that's really what you want to establish. I'm just going to give you guys a little bit of advice and kind of show you what I do. And if it helps you, that's awesome. And if you do in fact find some use out of this video, hit that like button. <laughs> spot that I've been wanting to shoot at for a while, been eyeing it up, just haven't had time to actually get over there. Today we have time. I figured what better way to make this video than to be actually going to a new spot that I'm unfamiliar with, take some photos of the car, show you guys that process, show you how I like to get it done, and then head back to the house and show you how I edit them. A lot of this is subjective. It's going to be opinion based. So just remember, like I said before, I am no professional. I just do this as a hobby and for fun. However, I do really enjoy the whole process of it, and I think that I've gotten pretty decent over time. All right, so I'm pulling up the spot right now. There are tons, tons of cool things to use here for photos, like these weird, big, rusty things. And there's a lot of shade, which is good. Anytime you guys are shooting, super sunny days are not the best days to shoot. You usually want like overcast or, you know, rain or even clouds. It's just hard to get a good sky shot with a super sunny, sunny. Usually just the, the sky just blows out of exposure when it's super sunny like this. But it's a pretty cool spot. We got the city back there and then a lot of different little shaded areas around here. I saw a bunch of spots pulling in that I really, really like. The perfect example of getting creative. So I found this little loading dock, this crazy long walkway. And we're just gonna roll the car up here, man. And try and get some good shots. This is pretty sick. Park it right here and see what we can do. <laughs> this is pretty dope. So we got this cool little overhang with these lights and then we have the city right in the background. Anytime you guys are doing photos, you just want to make sure that you have like a cool location with a bunch of stuff going on in the background. You know, these like these brick walls usually work really well. But like I said before, it really comes down to like your composition, your location, the background, and then like the time of day. So this is a really hard time to shoot. You can see if we go over here, 
you get a much better photo. It's a little bit of shade. So I'll show you some shady spots later and you guys can see the difference. Anytime that I am shooting though, I like to shoot in portrait mode. And the reason that I do that is because Instagram crops everything to portrait. You just wanna make sure you're shooting in portrait mode so everything crops a lot better when you actually get into the final photo. So another important thing that I wanna bring up is you guys gotta learn the angles of your car. At what angles does your car look the best? And usually low, and on like the corners always looks good. You can do like straight on shots like that. In the rear, same kind of deal, unless you're doing like up close detail shots. You always just wanna experiment around. And really this just takes a lot of time and practice to kind of learn your car, learn your camera, and learn the area that you're shooting in. And the more that you practice and the more that you do this, just like anything, the better that you will get at it. So right now the lens that I'm shooting on is an 11 to 22 millimeter, which is really great for vlogging because it's super wide. So I can get really close and it shows everything in the picture. However, it doesn't work that well for photos. I prefer using my 50 millimeter because it has a nice bokeh effect behind the car, which means everything just kind of blurs out behind the car and the subject matter just pops a lot better. It's also not a wide angle, so it's not a super, super wide finish, which kind of stretches things out. I like to use the 50 millimeter because I feel like it gives me more of an accurate composition when I'm actually taking a photo. The other thing that I do want to talk about though is that you do not have to have the best gear in the world. I started out with my iPhone, that was fine. A lot of people say that you need to have an expensive camera, expensive gear, you really don't. If you're just shooting for Instagram, an iPhone photo is fine. I used to do that all the time and you can edit it in Lightroom. Lightroom is a free app that you can use on your phone and I think if you actually put it on your desktop, it's like $10 or something, super cheap. Very easy to use and really fun to mess around with, but we'll get into that a little bit later. So let's go ahead and throw the 50 millimeter on and I'll show you guys the difference. All right, so you can immediately see the difference. It's also a lot more shaky. You have to be steady with this lens. I'm much further away from the car right now because it's such a deep lens. You're able to get shots like this with the 50 mil. And you can see what I mean about the sky when it's super sunny. Everything just kind of blows out. So you definitely want to shoot on darker days, sunset, sunrise, cloudy, rain, that all works. It really makes your subject stand out. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a series of photos at this spot and then we'll move on to another spot. Alright, so I'm pretty happy with everything I got in this spot. We're gonna head to another spot right down the road from here that has a little more shade and some other objects and kind of show you what I come up with at that spot. All right, got to a new spot. So this is kind of different because we have objects that we're gonna kind of use for the photo. Um, right now I'm on the vlog lens, so I'm gonna switch over to the 50 mil and kind of show you guys what I come up with in this whole area. It's a cool spot though. There's definitely a lot to work with over here. And you can see that this is all under shade, so photos are gonna be much easier to take. It's really, really hard to take photos when it's super bright out. Do a little walk around. Like these are all cool shots. So if I shot from this side, I'd take the wheels and turn them that way. You always want the face of the wheel to be showing towards you. So like right now it's set up to basically shoot that way. Let's throw the 50 mil on and take some photos. All right, we got that 50 mil on. You can already see how shaky it is, but this isn't necessarily a good lens for filming, but I'm just showing you guys what I'm gonna end up doing here. So there's the car in frame, and I'm super far away right now, but we'll get some shots.
right, so as you guys saw, there are a bunch of things to work with in this space. I really like this spot. And I've only had the car parked in one spot. I'm just working with Mr. Yang Ming over here, which is just, um, just a cool background, man. It's so dope. I like this spot, these big rusty things. I was working with all that. There's some reflections in water. These rusty guys right here with water in them. You can use those. I don't even know what these are, but some really cool reflections like that. So there's a lot to work with over here. You just gotta get creative. And I take a ton of shots. Like I'll take hundreds of shots of the car and then I'll narrow that down to like 20 or so. So for this shoot in particular, I'm actually shooting landscape and portrait so I can give you guys some big photos on the screen rather than them just being skinny. And then I'll put the versions of those photos that I'm gonna use on Instagram up there. But what a cool spot. All right, on to the next one. Found another spot before we leave. I'm gonna shoot up against this graffiti wall. These always look cool next to a car, so I'm gonna park up here. This is actually such a cool spot. There's like so many structures. So I'm thinking something like hang. Might back it up a little bit to get out of this window. That. Let's throw the 50 mil on, see how it looks. All right, got the 50 mil on. It's pretty windy out here, but I'm way far away. So, something like that, that looks sick. It's tough because it's so sunny out. Like if it was just a little bit of cloud cover, this would be perfect, but we're gonna go for it anyways. Bam. Come over here at sunset or sunrise. Get that city in the background. Woo. That would be a sick shot. I'm gonna take some photos anyways with the 50 mil, but this is this is great. This is a really, really nice spot. Super open lot. It's fantastic. The city in the background. All right, let's throw that 50 mil on, see what we can get. I will say with, uh, with the black wheels, you gotta be a little more crafty, because as you can see, the black wheels just kind of fade out because they're in that shadow. You gotta be a little crafty with black wheels. It's a lot easier to shoot the F30 because I had bronze wheels. But, dude, uh, yeah, we'll take it. Yeah, so killer spot, bad time of day to be shooting here. Um, definitely gonna come back sunrise or sundown at some point because you can get some great photos. I mean, if that sun was coming down, -hoo -hoo, this would look really good. So you gotta be a little bit crafty with the black wheels. As you can see on this side, be able to see them a little bit more because you have the sun shining on them so with the sun coming out over there and we're shooting towards it that's never really a good thing it's kind of hard to get definition that way i also like to leave just the halos on when i'm shooting i don't turn the actual lights on cool spot on to the next they have like all these little alleys here and these alleys just make for such cool photos with all these overhangs and whatnot i also made sure i picked a day when no one would be here so I knew, like the only people here are like construction workers. So there's no one actually in here, there's no traffic. So I kind of just do my thing. Pretty much perfect. So this is the other spot that I liked. I've got this like deep alley right here, which is pretty cool, but I like all of this like electrical stuff going on. I think that'll look dope. And it's nice and shade. We get some good photos over here. Throw the uh, 50 mil back on, take some shots. All right, 50 mil land. Kind of check it out, see what we're working with. These boxes, all this dirt and stuff. Just have to use some different angles, get creative with it. But I think this will be a good little spot.
just like that. Hope you guys enjoyed that little drone session. Let's go ahead and pack up. So yeah, some cool little spots today. It's a great little area. So you guys, like I had mentioned before, I've actually never been to this spot. This whole area is all new to me. So anytime you're shooting in a new spot, you really gotta keep going back to that spot, shooting in the same spot, and figuring out all the good little angles and little areas within that spot. This place, however, is very cool, and I'm gonna keep coming back a bunch. It's not too close to my house, which is kind of a bummer, but it is worth it because there's a lot of potential. There's so many different little areas within this one spot and you can get a different vibe out of all these little areas too. So just remember you guys, anytime you're shooting cars, it takes a lot of experimentation. You really gotta try new things, try out new cameras, try out new lenses, try out phones, and see what works best with your car, your setup, and location. Time of day really matters, sunrise, sunset, cloudy days, rainy days, very, very good. Anything with overcast is awesome. The sunny days, the super sunny days are hard. That's why you see me shooting a lot in the shade. In addition to that, the way that your car is set up is also gonna matter. The color of the car, the color of the wheels, all these things play a role into having a good, in my opinion, a good shot. So really there is no easy or quick answer to this. Consistency, patience, and trying new things, experimentation will get you to where you wanna be with photography. Anyways, I'm happy with all of the shots that we got while we were here. Now we're gonna head home and start the editing process. like that we're home me again we are back at the house you guys I realized that this video is actually way too long to throw in the editing so the next video that comes out is gonna have all of the editing stuff this is gonna be a two-part video first part is just the shooting the angles the conditions how you want to shoot your car and you kind of coming along for the ride and watching me shoot my car those photos that you saw in the video are in fact the edited photos. But we're gonna do an entire video just on Lightroom editing and that is gonna be the next video. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching the video. Please do subscribe, comment down below, like this video and hit that bell notification. Just like that, this video is over and I'm out. Peace.